I'm going to show you how to make a GIF on Adobe Photoshop, particularly for the multimedia class at WVU. So first things first is you're going to want to make sure you have all your images. I go into my files and I check to see that I have all my pictures in their own folder. So these are my 20 frames for my animation. I've labeled them 0, 1 to 20. Having the 0 before the 1 helps make sure that this picture comes before 10. So it's just an easy way to make sure that all your pictures will stay in order. So what we're going to do is we're going to open Photoshop. <laughs> we're going to wait for it to load because it takes 15 years to open up. And we're going to make a new file in the proper size. I like to do um, like a quarter of a sheet of a paper. So like 5 by 5 by 4 and a half, I think. I have it saved on my preferences. So create new. Um, 5 and a half by 4.25. I'm going to create this one. And this is going to be what you want to see when you start up. So you want to make sure you have your timeline and your layers. To do that, make sure you open your window and make sure they're both checked. So I am going to put all of the image that I showed you earlier from my files into this Photoshop document. And to do that, I'm going to click File. Um, I think it's Scripts. Load Files into Stack. And you're going to want to change Files to Folder. And you're going to browse your computer to find your folder. So this one has all my pictures in it, and I'm going to click OK. Make sure they all come in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way down to 20. I'm going to click OK. And they're going to load down here in the Layers panel. It takes a little bit of time, but they all should load in order. So I'm going to let that settle in. And... The next step is you're going to make sure that they're all there. So 1 all the way to 20, and that should be all you have. You shouldn't have like a background layer or anything. It should just be your 20 or 24, like however many frames you've decided to choose. That's how many layers you should have. So the next step is you're going to want to create frame animation, and you're going to want to make sure it's this one with the squares. Video has a lot of rectangles, and you want to make sure it's frame animation. Next, you're going to want to click this hamburger here, and you're going to want to make frames from layers. This is going to take all your images and put them here. Now, if you watch, these are actually all backwards, and it usually happens. It's totally normal. All you want to do is you want to go to the hamburger again and click reverse frames, and now they should be in the correct order. And you can just double check by clicking the play button and watching it. And there you go. That's my gif. So what the instructions ask you to do is to make sure that they're all 0 0.1 seconds long. This just makes the timing a little bit more pleasant to watch. It's not as fast. So I'm going to do this really quick. I wish there was like a hot key to make you, you could do them all at a time, but I haven't played around with it enough yet to really see. Actually, you might be able to hold down shift, do that. There you go, yeah. So if you hold down shift and select multiple, you can make them all 0 0.1 all at the same time. So there's that little trick. We're learning together. So I would suggest watching it once more, making sure it's proper. Let it go through a few times. Make sure it's the pacing that you want. You're gonna wanna make sure that it says forever down here so that it infinitely loops. Sometimes if it's like the first time you've done animation, it might be on once, which means it'll just go through and then it'll stop. You're going to want to make sure that it's forever. So that it constantly loops. So once it's what you have, it's what you make, it's what, <laughs> what you're positive, it's what you want it to be. You're going to want to go to File. Then you're going to want to Export, Save for Web Legacy. Now, you want to make sure it's a GIF, and you want to make sure that it's small. Mine is gigantic right now, so what I want to do is I want to change my size down here. I'm going to change my width to 400, and my height, I'm going to click this little link here just to make sure that it's not going to mess up the other one. I'm going to change it to 300. So this makes it a lot smaller. You're going to want to make sure that you're way under the 
1024k and I am definitely under so this one is good to save there's some other things that'll make your sizing a little bit smaller but this is pretty good this you can send to your friends so you're gonna want to click um, save and then it's gonna ask you to name it and put it in a folder I tried this once before so this is what this one is so you want to name your gif after yourself I'm gonna add a little bit more since I've already saved one like this and you're gonna to want to make sure it's images only because that's just the best result you want to click Save and then you're gonna to want to open your your file and make sure that it's exactly what you want it to be and sure enough there it is running very smoothly so that's what you're going to want to put on the flash drive and turn in for your critique. I hope this helped, and I hope you have a good afternoon. Bye!